Many flexible structures are characterized by a small number of compliant modes, large deformation paths that can be traversed with little mechanical effort. However, predicting the compliant modes for a given structure, or even designing structures with desired compliant modes, is a very challenging problem. We present nonlinear compliant modes, an optimization based approach for analyzing the large deformation behavior of flexible structures. While linear eigenmodes capture the compliant directions for small displacements, they quickly divert into states of unrealistically high energy for larger deformations. Instead of constraining the entire structure to deform along a given eigenmode, our method only prescribes the projection of the system state onto the linear mode. All other degrees of freedom follow through energy minimization in the orthogonal subspace. As shown in the following examples, nonlinear compliant modes can be used for both analysis and design of flexible structures undergoing large deformations. As a simple building block for compliant mechanisms, we study a prismatic flexure element designed to allow bending of its actual wall while the other two walls offer increased rigidity to lateral bending and twisting. A linear eigenanalysis seems to confirm this design intent, with the first non-rigid mode indicating a compliant direction for actual bending, while the second mode corresponding to twisting is several times stiffer. Our nonlinear analysis, however, shows that the second mode exhibits a drop in stiffness for larger deformations due to buckling of its actual wall. Based on this observation, we create a modified design with two smaller prisms that provide additional support in the middle of the actual wall, which effectively shifts the instability to higher frequencies that are energetically less favorable. Our nonlinear analysis shows that the first compliant mode remains largely unchanged, whereas the second mode shows improved load bearing capacity. This prediction is confirmed by our experiments on 3D printed prototypes. As an extension of the previous example, we study a compliant spherical joint consisting of a quasi rigid end effector and a set of prismatic flexures. Our nonlinear analysis identifies two compliant modes that correspond to lateral rotations of the end effector. Comparisons with the physical prototype show good agreement between our predictions and the real world behavior through a large range of motion. Topology optimization is a powerful tool for generating designs in which material is distributed in mechanically optimal ways. In this example, we study two compliant joint designs generated using topology optimization based on linear elasticity. The intent of design A is to emulate a traditional universal joint by offering flexibility for lateral bending and strongly resisting twisting. Design B is supposed to enable twisting while strongly resisting bending. While linear eigenanalysis seems to confirm the original design intent, our nonlinear analysis reveals two important limitations for the finite deformation range. For design A, the third mode resists twisting only up to a certain angle, where the buckling of a strut leads to a complete loss of stiffness. For design B, our analysis shows a nonlinear increase in stiffness for twisting, ultimately limiting the feasible range of motion for this design. In this example, we investigate the potential of our method for analysis and design of structures with multiple stable states. This bistable switch is meant to exhibit two distinct equilibrium states. However, the physical prototype for an initial design shows that the switch is actually dysfunctional as it fails to maintain its on state. Analyzing the initial design with our method identifies switch activation as the first compliant mode, while the next compliant mode corresponding to twisting, is already significantly stiffer. The force displacement plot confirms that, instead of exhibiting a second equilibrium point, the force along the activation mode is monotonically increasing. We use the insight gained from this analysis to create an improved design in which a steeper rest angle allows for more vertical travel of the center flexure. As can be seen in the plot, this modified design now exhibits the desired second equilibrium point, which translates into a working prototype with the desired bistable behavior. 
Finally, we use our method for analysis of structured materials undergoing large deformations. To this end, we investigate two structured beams with regularly spaced incision patterns. The incisions are placed orthogonal to the beam axis and rotated by 180 degrees and 90 degrees for design A and B, respectively. For both designs, our method identifies two compliant modes corresponding to low frequency bending. As can be expected from their incision patterns, design A exhibits an isotropic bending resistance, whereas design B behaves isotropically. The plot also shows that, while all bending modes initially show low rigidity, they stiffen significantly once a complete chain of contact has formed between the lamella. The physical prototypes confirm this prediction. Besides their different bending behavior, design B also leads to significantly higher stresses for larger bending deformations. For our 3D printed prototypes, these stress concentrations led design B to break during manipulation, whereas design A remained intact. Thank you.